A foursome of golfers will tackle more than just par threes, fours, and fives this summer. They're the drivers of a group that hopes to bring new life to Ray Park's clubhouse in Terre Haute. As News 10's John Swanner explains, they're hoping members of the community will chip in so the park can continue to serve for years to come. It's a beautiful day to take in 9 or 18 at Ray Park's golf course. Golfers who've been playing here for years tell me conditions at the course have never been better. The same cannot be said about the clubhouse, though. Walk up close to it and you'll find numerous ways that it's falling apart. That's why a group of friends, the Friends of Ray Park, have teed up a fundraising effort, a capital campaign to renovate this historic structure. In the next few weeks, over the next few months, we're going to be going out and sharing those plans mm -hmm. that retain the integrity of the clubhouse, the historic mm -hmm. uh, nature of it, but also bring it up to date. An architect presented four plans to the park board. Each offers an expanded pro shop and meeting space. A couple offer a terrace space, ideal for weddings, receptions, and parties. If Ray Park's going to continue and not be in this shape ever again, we've got to put some kind of a functioning business in it. The renovation plans presented Wednesday night cost anywhere between one and one and a half million dollars. Meanwhile, tearing down and building this facility from the ground up would cost anywhere from 10 to 12 million dollars. Mayor Duke Bennett supports this fundraising effort. Tax caps slashed the Parks Department budget by 30 percent, making projects like this dependent on outside help. Having public private partnerships is the way it's happening all over the United States, and we're wanting to do that here in Terre Haute, too. Ray Park got its start back in 1922. Nearly 100 years later, it operates at a deficit. Along with the clubhouse, this puts the park's future in peril. People who come here hope something will be done to save it. There's a lot of potential here to uh, expand the services, but yet, uh, you know, uh, make it profitable so that we don't have this talk about closing golf courses. In Terre Haute, I'm John Swanner, News 10. On WTHITV.com, we have linked you to the Friends of Ray Park's website. There you can learn more about the four plans in consideration.